Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be located. My name is Tom Wimmer. I'm the repair engineer for the GNX product line for the composite structures, Phantom Booster hardware. Uh, today we are going to be demonstrating the polyfilm, poly paste repair over here at SeaTech. What we have here is a GENX fan platform. It is off a 1B. It's got the polyfilm, so it's a GO3 fan platform. And you see a cut in the, in the polyfilm right here. And so what we're going to be doing is demonstrating a quick poly paste repair to the polyfilm. So we've already kind of cleaned it and prepped the area. So what I'm gonna do is just do a quick clean of it. For the polyfilm, you can only use uh, isopropyl alcohol because anything stronger will cause the polyfilm to basically come off the poly on the off the fan platform. So what you're doing you're just going to clean it up, make sure it's nice and clean. Then you're going to come in and mask it just so that way you don't have any uh, you don't during your sanding operations you don't damage other parts of the platform. So all I did was just mask it to prevent sanding, damaging other parts of the fan platform. So when you go to do and clean up your damage and clean up, clean up your loose edges, that it just kind of keeps the damage to a minimum in your repair area. So you just want to come down here till you get, remove any loose material. Not sanding too far down because you don't want to get into the composite edge. You're going to see some white fiberglass, but that's going to be perfectly normal. So you just basically sand it so it's a little discolored. You want to use kind of a semi-fine grit like a 220, 280, 120, somewhere in that range. Do a quick clean of your area. See it's all nice and clean now. Just trying to do it on a nice clean surface. Know you're going to be in the shops and it's going to be kind of hard to get to a clean area, but you, you want to try to get to a clean area as much as possible. You can see that there, how it's kind of the difference in the prepped area and the not unprepped area. So what I'll do is I'll get another one clean. That way I get the area nice and prepped. Make sure you're wearing gloves for this. Too much solvent, just enough to Get the area nice and clean, not a, not a lot of pressure, just nice and clean. See, the surface is very clean. Let it dry, you can see it flash off. And you can clearly see the uh, prepped area and the unprepped area. And here's where you want to come back, you're going to remask it. Create a little pull tab like that so you can pull it up. Go over the area that you masked off or that you prepped. Get it nice and smooth. Get that down nice and smooth. All your edges are down. You can see how it's nice and tight around the surface area. There's no bumps that would cause a lift in your surface area. You're going to clean it one more time just to make sure that you don't get any uh, surface contamination from the oils in your hands and masking. And again, you're not going to be looking to scrub it. You're just going to do on a real light pressure, just enough to make sure the surface is clean. You'll see it's clean now. And now we're going to uh, apply the poly paste. All right, so we're using the poly paste, the 3M Scotch Weld. So you're going to take this off. It's going to have a little cap on it. Then you're going to put this on. It's got a little mixer tube. There's going to be some little holes here that you've got to line up in the thing. It's going to be a little tricky. You have to line this up to where this is, fits in. You have to see in there, there, and it locks in place. Then what you do as you load it in here, then you squeeze it, 
There's a little mixer that's going to run through here. You can see it as it goes through. It's mixing it. So you're going to want to squeeze some out just to make sure it's mixed properly. About a quarter to a dime sized or nickel sized area just to make sure that it's mixed properly. Set that off to the side so that way you know it's cured. And you're going to apply this right here. And if you don't have a squeegee, you can make one. So you can take your Costco card, just kind of keep it clean. Just going to apply it, make sure it's filling in. Edit out, you can see it. Pull it off, demask. And let it cure. That's the poly paste repair. Again, thank you for watching. I uh, hope this was able to shed some light and some uh, answer some of your questions on the polyfilm poly paste repair for the fan platforms. Thank you, and if you have any questions, give us a call. Bye now.